Recent satellite imagery has unveiled a groundbreaking development. China is constructing a massive laser fusion research facility in Mianyang, Sichuan Province. This facility, estimated to be 50% larger than the U.S. National Ignition Facility, NIF, aims to replicate the sun's energy production process here on Earth. This ambitious project holds the potential to revolutionize clean energy generation and has significant implications for global nuclear research. In this video, we'll explore the details of China's new facility and discuss its global impact. Nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun, has been the ultimate goal for scientists seeking a clean, limitless energy source. Unlike nuclear fission, which splits heavy atoms, fusion works by combining lighter atomic nuclei, typically hydrogen isotopes like deuterium and tritium, into helium, releasing enormous energy. However, replicating the intense heat and pressure required for fusion on Earth is a monumental challenge. One of the leading methods for achieving fusion is inertial confinement fusion. ICF. In this process, a tiny fuel pellet containing hydrogen isotopes is placed in the center of a chamber and bombarded with intense laser pulses from multiple directions. This sudden burst of energy causes the outer layer of the pellet to explode outward, creating an inward compression force that drives the inner fuel to extreme temperatures, hotter than the core of the sun. Under these conditions, the atomic nuclei overcome their natural repulsion and fuse, releasing vast amounts of energy. The National Ignition Facility, NIF, in the United States, has been at the forefront of laser fusion research. In 2022, it achieved a historic breakthrough, producing more energy from a fusion reaction than was put in by the lasers. This moment, known as scientific break-even, was a proof of concept that fusion could work as a sustainable energy source. Scientists directed 2.05 megajoules of laser energy at the target, resulting in a fusion energy output of 3.15 MJ, something that had never been achieved before. But while this breakthrough was monumental, it still fell short of practical fusion energy. The overall energy required to power the lasers was far greater than the energy the fusion reaction produced. This means that despite success at the microscopic level, a real-world fusion power plant remains out of reach. Scientists also face challenges in sustaining fusion conditions for longer periods, improving efficiency and reducing costs. However, given the stakes, a potential future of limitless carbon-free energy, global efforts continue, with new players entering the race. China is making a major push into nuclear fusion research with its newly discovered laser fusion facility, a massive structure designed for high-energy experiments. Located in Mianyang, this cutting-edge facility is built with a striking layout, a central experimental chamber surrounded by four enormous arms housing laser arrays. To fire intense laser pulses at hydrogen fuel, triggering fusion reactions, just like the U.S. National Ignition Facility, NIF, but on a much larger scale. This facility is estimated to be 50% larger than NIF, making it potentially the most powerful laser fusion research center in the world. The expanded size suggests that China is planning higher energy experiments, possibly pushing past the limits of what NIF has achieved. More energy means a higher chance of reaching sustained and controlled fusion, something that has so far eluded scientists. The location of the facility is also significant, Minyanyang is a research and defense hub, home to some of China's top scientific institutions. This choice raises questions about whether the facility is purely for energy research or if it will also contribute to military applications. The Chinese government has not officially confirmed its purpose, leaving room for speculation. What makes this facility special is the sheer scale of its ambition. While most fusion experiments worldwide are working with smaller, incremental advancements, China seems to be leapfrogging ahead with a bold, oversized approach. The country has already demonstrated serious commitment to fusion research. Its experimental advanced superconducting tokamak, East, also known as the artificial sun, has set world records for sustained high-temperature plasma. This new facility could represent China's next big leap in fusion technology. If successful, it could solidify China's role as a global leader in scientific innovation. However, the project's secrecy and its possible military links make it an area of interest not just for scientists, but also for defense analysts worldwide.
The construction of this giant fusion research center has profound global implications. On the energy front, if successful, it could accelerate the development of fusion power, something the world desperately needs. Fusion energy, unlike fossil fuels, is clean, produces no long-lived radioactive waste, and has an almost limitless fuel supply. If China makes a breakthrough, it could gain a huge advantage in the energy race, positioning itself as the dominant force in next-generation power. However, the strategic and military implications of this facility cannot be ignored. Fusion research is not just about energy, it is also deeply connected to nuclear weapons development. Traditional nuclear bombs rely on fission, but the most powerful nuclear weapons, hydrogen bombs, use fusion reactions to create vastly more destructive explosions. While live nuclear tests are banned under international treaties, advanced fusion facilities allow countries to simulate nuclear detonations and refine their weapons without actually setting off a bomb. This raises the question, is China pursuing this research solely for energy or does it also have military ambitions? Many experts believe that such a facility could enhance China's nuclear weapons program, improving warhead designs and increasing confidence in its arsenal without breaking international agreements. But China is not alone in this pursuit. The United States, Russia, France and the United Kingdom all operate similar inertial confinement fusion facilities, meaning this is part of a global trend. With this new facility, China is signaling that it intends to catch up or surpass its rivals in both energy and defense technology. The existence of such large-scale fusion projects also raises concerns about global security and arms control. As countries invest more in fusion technology, should the world rethink existing nuclear treaties? Could this lead to a new kind of arms race? One based not on nuclear explosions, but on simulation and advanced fusion research? At the same time, there is also potential for collaboration. Despite geopolitical tensions, fusion energy is an area where international cooperation has thrived. Scientists from multiple countries work together at ITER, a massive fusion project in France, and breakthroughs in one country often benefit global research. China's new facility could go either way. It could advance clean energy for the world, or it could be another step toward military dominance. China's construction of a massive laser fusion research facility marks a significant milestone in the quest for harnessing the power of nuclear fusion. While the promise of clean, abundant energy is enticing, the potential military applications introduce complex geopolitical considerations. As this project progresses, it will be crucial for the international community to balance the pursuit of scientific advancement with the imperatives of global security and stability. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.